Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel PKM Classes. Now you are stacked man of covector adjunct inverse of a square matrix. Suppose A is a square matrix A i j 2 plus 2 a square matrix. How you find minor of a square matrix? Minor of a square matrix. A matrix in the example A11, A12, A21, A22. So minor of an element A11 is defined as the minor of an element AIJ is obtained by deleting the rows and columns it present. So minor minor of AIJ is equal to MIJ. It is obtained by deleting or by cancelling or by suppressing I throw at the Z column. So minor of A11 minor of A11 is equal to A22. Similarly, minor of A12 is A21. Minor of A21 is A12. Minor of A22 is A11. So minor of an element of a square matrix is obtained by deleting the rows and columns it present. Let us see an example. A matrix is given that A is a matrix 2, 3, 4, 5. So minor A is equal to so minor of 2 is 5 and we deleting first row and first column. So minor of 2 is equal to 5, minor of 3 is equal to 4, minor of 4 is equal to 3, minor of 5 is equal to 2. So all the elements of the matrix, all the elements of the matrix, when you find the minor, we first the delete the rows and columns it present. Next we find the cofactor of matrix. Cofactor of A. Cofactor of an element. Suppose element is equal to AIJ. Element is equal to AIJ and cofactor is equal to CIJ. CIJ is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into MIJ. So cofactor of an element is defined as minus 1 to the power i plus z to m i z where m i z is the minor obtained by deleting i through and z through. Now find the minus and if you write the sign before the minor that we can find the cofactor. So cofactor so of the element 2 is 5 and cofactor of 3 is equal to minus 4, cofactor of 4 is equal to minus 3, cofactor of 5 is equal to 2. If the matrix is equal to A11, A12, A21, A22 and the sign of the element is equal to 1, 1, 2 plus 1, 2 minus 2, 1, 3 minus 2, 2 plus. So this is the sign of an element. Sign of an element AIJ, sign of AIJ is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j. Minus 1 to the power i plus j. So sign of a 1 1 is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1, that is plus 1. Sign of a 1 2 is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2, minus. In this we will find the sign of an element. If i plus j is even, if i plus j is even, we write plus. 
If I plus J is odd, we write minus. If I plus J is here odd, we write minus, even and plus. If we put the signs before my number, before my number, they can easily find the cooperator matrix. So, A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, minor is equal to 5, 4, 3, 2. And cofactor of A is equal to 5 minus 4 minus 3. So, we can find the cofactor of the matrix. Let's just start adjoint of matrix. Adjoint A is obtained by transpose of cofactor A. Transpose of cofactor A. Cofactor A. 5 minus 4 minus 3 2 the transpose. So in case of transpose, rows are written as columns, columns are written as rows. So that is equal to 5 minus 4 minus 3 2. Now if a matrix is given, we find minor cofactor or adjoint. So now we can find diet adjoint of matrix. We can find diet adjoint of matrix if A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we can find diet adjoint A avoiding minor and cofactor. So when we find adjoint A, then the <coughs> sign of the of diagonal elements are changed and the diagonal elements are changed diagonal elements are changed of diagonal elements sign changes then we do sign changes of diagonal elements these are the diagonal elements in a square matrix the a the elements are in first row first column when the rows and columns are equal second row second column that elements are diagonal elements. When you find the adjoint, diagonal elements are changed. Diagonal elements are changed. But of diagonal elements are not changed. Only sign is changed. Minus 3, minus 4. If you find the direct adjoint of the matrix, then we change the sign of the of diagonal elements. Then we change the sign of the of diagonal elements. And don't and change the elements of the diagonal elements. Sign change, change. First, sign change, change. Then we find direct adjoint. So in this way, we can find adjoint directly or we find minor, co then adjoint of the matrix. Now we find inverse of the matrix. A inverse of the matrix is defined as inverse is equal to adjoint A by its determinant value where determinant is not equal to 0 here A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 so its determinant value is when you find determinant value the second order matrix the determinant value is obtained by product of the diagonal elements minus product of the of diagonal elements that is equal to 2 into 5 minus 4 into 3 or that is equal to 10 minus 12 minus 2 is not equal to 0 so we find inverse the determinant is not equal to 0 so a inverse is equal to a inverse a inverse is equal to adjunct a by determinant value Adjunct A by determinant value 1 by minus 2 of adjunct A <coughs> by minus 4 minus 3 2. So A inverse is equal to minus 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 4 by 2, 2, 2 by 2 minus 1. If your matrix is given, so you can find minor, cobator, adjunct, and inverse. In second order. Now, I say another example of matrix. Suppose a matrix is given. A matrix is given. 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव टू थ्री फोर सिक्स हियर डिटर्मिनेट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू टू थ्री फोर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व माइनस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू जीरो एस डिटर्मिनेट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो हेंस वी कैन फाइंड द इनवर्स हियर ए इनवर्स इज नॉट डिफाइन इज नॉट डिफाइन एस डिटर्मिनेट इज इक्वल टू जीरो बाय द मैट्रिक्स इज सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स इन केस ऑफ सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स दोस we cannot find inverse when you find the inverse the matrix must be non singular the matrix must be a square matrix and it must be a non singular matrix the determinant is not equal to zero so question asks in examination to find the inverse of a matrix given below a matrix is given in find inverse find inverse if a is equal to Two high, three four. But this is given. We find inverse. Now inverse is equal to adjacent A by determinant B, where determinant is not equal to zero. So first we find the determinant B. So determinant is equal to two high three four. That is equal to product of diagonal elements. Eight, product of octagonal elements, fifteen. Eight minus fifteen is equal to minus seven. Is not equal to zero. Hence, inverse we can find a inverse. So a inverse we find as a a. Here a is equal to two pi three four. We find the adjacent A directly. In where to find the adjacent A? First, sine, 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 sine. Now find inverse. Now inverse is equal to inverse is equal to adjacent A by determinant value. So one mod is equal to minus seven and adjacent is equal to four minus five minus three two. Hence, if a matrix is given, we will find inverse. First, we see that most is square matrix. In this class, we find the inverse of a third order matrix. In our course, particularly second order and third order. Next class, we find third order matrix. Now, when a second order matrix is given. We find inverse. First thing we have to see whether determinant is equal to zero or not. It is singular or not singular. If determinant is equal to zero, it is singular matrix. So we cannot find inverse. If determinant is not equal to zero, that is non-singular. So inverse defined. Inverse exists. Then we find adjacent A. When we find adjacent A from a matrix, then adjacent is obtained. First, sine changes changes. Diagonal elements are changed. Of diagonal elements, sine changes. Then we find adjacent A. We find adjacent A. We find determinant value. When we find determinant value, product of diagonal elements minus product of of diagonal elements. We find determinant value. We find adjacent. Then putting the values in the formula, we find a inverse adjacent by Determinant. In this way, we find inverse of a square matrix. In next class, we study about the inverse of a third order matrix and solution of simultaneous equations by matrix inverse method. How we find the solutions by using inverse? We start in next class. If you like this video, then share and subscribe. Thanks.